somebody may come in while you're home by yourself. And we live in a fearful society. Nothing wrong with checking your doors to make it locked. But I want to bring it in, not natural doors, but spiritual doors. In our life, you and I know that the message of holiness has been bypassed in the church. We have took it off, made it an organization, and we call it a clique and a cult. But holiness is real. Hallelujah. Holiness is real. And it's a message that needs to get back in the pulpit of American church once again to where we realize sin is sin. Oh, come on now. Sin is sin. And then God came to forgive us of that sin, but we've got to learn what the door is in our lives. A door also is a value to the doors. Uh-huh. And I can stop right there tonight. And I can preach on if that door is a barrier of the noise, of negative noise or positive noise, then I must close the door on the negative things and open it to the positive things of our life. And I'm getting somewhere. Doors also allow the entrance of some and to keep others out. So what I'm saying is tonight as we build this foundation, as you can see on this door, at the bottom, you have me. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. If I don't pray, if I don't continue to be faithful to the house of God, if I don't be faithful to the word of God, hallelujah, when I hear I am, all of a sudden, then when here I am, sin creeps in. When sin creeps in, all of these other things, addiction comes up. Uh, then you've got sickness. Uh, then you've got divorce. Uh, then you've got sexual immorality. Then you've got poverty. Then you've got death. And it all is because uh, I was disobedient to the voice of God. I was disobedient to the word of God. Hallelujah. And that's why in this door right here, uh, I've opened it up to things. Uh, see what you open up to, uh, what you allow to come into your house, and you close the door behind. Uh, listen, you may close the door and think you've hid it from everybody. You may think you've hid it from the preacher. Uh, you may think uh, that you've hid it from the church going people. Uh, but I want to tell you something. Uh, well, it's not the people that I'm concerned about. Uh, it's not my brothers or my sisters that I'm really concerned about. Although I want to live a good example in front of them. Uh, but you know what matters? Uh, is I've got an all seeing eye that's looking at me at all times uh, that's saying, uh -huh, I'm going to see. I'm going to see if he's going to live right. I'm going to see if he's going to do right. Uh, I'm going to see that when all of a sudden, all of a sudden temptation of addiction comes by, things he wasn't tempted by before when he was in sin, uh, he's going to have to shut the door on that thing and say, I don't think so. Not no more. I've been set free of that. But if I entertain them thoughts, uh, if I entertain them things, uh, all of a sudden sin begins to grow same way as faith begins to grow.